everyone. Welcome to Church at Home. My name is Alicia and I'm so excited you're here with us today. We're going to spend some time learning about some really amazing and important people in the Bible who believed in God with their whole heart. That means they loved God and knew He had good plans for their lives. That's why our big idea for today is, I believe in God. Let's say that together on three. One, two, three. I believe in God. Yes, the Bible tells us that God loves us and has good things planned for us. We can believe this is true and trust that God wants the best for us. That reminds me of a story in the Bible that I can't wait to learn about with you. But first, let's stand up together and sing a song to Jesus, telling him that we believe in God. Let's sing, I believe in Jesus. This song is called, I Believe in Jesus. We're gonna all start with our hands up like this. You came from heaven, you loved me, you loved me. Gave up all you had, you saved me, you saved me. Your life was given, you loved me, you loved me. So I live forever, you saved me, you saved me. Let's sing, I will trust. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, hands up like this. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had. You saved me. You saved me. Your life was given. You loved me. Clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. We hear ya. It. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe in yeah, Jesus. I believe in Jesus. I believe he came to say, I believe in Jesus Christ. I will trust in Jesus. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. All right, let's clap our hands. Here we go. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. That song reminds us that God's good plan for our lives was to send Jesus to earth so we could believe and follow him. When we believe in Jesus, we can spend forever with God in heaven. That means that even when something makes us sad or doesn't seem good, we can believe that God has something good planned for us. And there's a story I know all about believing in God. It's in this book right here. 
It's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book for us. It's a book from God that tells us real stories about people and places from a long time ago. And one of those people is Noah. Noah believed in what God said and followed God's instructions. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps to find out more about Noah from our Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moth, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Whoa! Water covered the whole earth and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, good girl. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay. So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. See ya. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. That was a great story. God's plan for a boat didn't make sense because it had never rained like that or flooded before. But Noah still chose to believe in God and what he said. Because he believed, God saved him and his whole family by keeping him safe on the boat. I always want to remember that Bible story, so I have a great idea. How about we draw a picture of Noah? That's right! It's color time! So grab your markers and your crayons and some paper because it's time to draw with Gus. Hi everyone, it's me Gus. Today we're drawing Noah. He was the guy with the big boat with all the animals. I wonder if he had turtles on the boat. <laughs> okay, let's get to drawing. 
Let's start on this side of the paper with one line, right here. Now, let's make another line on this side. Now we need to connect the two bottom lines with some U's to make the bottom of his beard. Yeah. Then, right here on the side, let's draw a little C for his ear. Next, let's do his nose. We're going to the middle, right about here, and make an L like this. Okay. Go back to the top and draw a little diagonal line down, but not all the way. Connect the two lines with another line. Let's go ahead and finish his beard. Start next to the middle of his ear and draw a line to the side of his nose. Mm-hmm. Now, just below his ear, make some little U's across his face and under his nose. Looks good. Now let's give him a smile right here. Color that in. Let's give him some eyes now. Let's do two big circles. And make little circles in the big circles and fill those in. Yeah! Oh, let's do his headband. Go ahead and make a line across the top of his head. And another line on top of that that's a little bit rounded. Like a round rectangle. Now do a little tiny half circle on top to make the rest of his head. Let's do some of his hair on the top of his head. Go to the top of his head and make three little bumps. Looks good. We're almost done with his hair. Go just under his headband right here and draw a line down to the side of his face. And there you go. Thanks for drawing with me. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>Your pictures look awesome. Noah showed he believed in God by following God's instructions to build a boat. And we can always believe in God too, because the Bible tells us God and his plans are always good. Now that reminds me of a special verse in the Bible about believing in God. I can't wait to show you, but uh oh, it's covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop all the bubbles so we can read it? Grab some bubbles if you have them and let's pop them! Okay everybody, it's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait! That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! Alright, alright! Keep going, yay! We're almost there! We're at the pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready to go! One, two, three, keep going! That's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble, that's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here! Pop them over there, pop them on the ground, and pop them in the air! Pop them everywhere! Yay! Wow, we did it! You helped me pop all the bubbles! Now we can see our Bible verse. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. Now let's sing that song together now. Stand on up and get ready to sing and dance to our Bible verse song. Let's sing Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 together. Here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend. Do not depend on your own understanding. Ready to dance? Whoa, oh. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His 
that Bible verse. It reminds us that God always has good things planned for us when we believe in Him. We can believe in Him by trusting that what He says in the Bible is true. Remember how Noah built a boat because he believed in God? Well, our friend Winston is building something really cool with his buddy Jerry. Let's go check out what Winston and Jerry are building today on Winston's Lego Review. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and watch this. Hi everyone, I'm Jerry. And I'm Winston! Welcome to my LEGO Review Show! Woohoo! Guys, I got Winston a bunch of LEGO sets and he's gonna review each one of them for you. But it's gonna be a surprise each week, Winston. Oh yeah! I don't have any idea which one Jerry's gonna give me. So, you're gonna see my first reaction to it. And at the end, I'll give you my final review and rate it with my awesome sticker scale right here! Winston, the Lego set I chose for you this week is... Oh, what is it? This guy. Whoa! I know. A space shuttle. Ah! Do you know how much I love spaceships? Winston. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Of course I know that. Me too. So this is actually the Mars Research Shuttle set, and I'm thinking your first reaction is that you like it? Um, yes! I love it! Can we open it right now? Please, 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 please? Let's do this. Awesome! Whoa! Whoa! Oh Lego. my gosh, look at all this, Winston. Woo. Oh, Winston, you're gonna what? be so excited. Look what, what I it? found. Wow, there's stickers and Legos in the same box. That's the most awesome box I've ever seen in my life. Winston, I'm gonna let you hold on to these for right now, but oh. we need them back for the shuttle, okay? Okay, I there you go. Them back. Okay, so are we gonna get started? Yep, let's do this, Winston. Whoa, Whoa so many pieces. This looks so confusing, but so awesome. We got this, Winston. You know, okay. one of the reasons I wanted to give you this Lego set is because I've been reading a story in the Bible about a different kind of ship. Whoa, wait, are you telling me that they had spaceships in the Bible? <laughs> no, but there was a man named Noah who built a super, super big boat. Why did he need a boat that big? I mean, he needed it to fit his whole family mm -hmm. and all the animals on it to keep them safe from the flood. Oh. You see, God told Noah that it was gonna rain so much that there would be a flood that covered the earth. So God told Noah that he had to build a boat and gave him directions on how to build it. Kind of like what we have. Oh, cool, like those directions right there. Exactly, but the thing was, no one had ever seen it rain like that. So Noah had to believe that what God said was true. Whoa. I know. What does it mean to believe? Good question, Winston. Thanks. To believe means to know something is really true with all your heart. Oh, so does that mean Noah believed in God? What do you think? Yep, Noah showed he believed in God by following God's directions to build the boat. Now let's build this spaceship. Um, I think we'll need to follow the directions, kind of like how Noah had to follow God's directions. That's a great idea! Let's follow Noah's example! Let's do it! Let's do it! That's a lot of pieces! I know! Oh, Lego maker, this is the coolest Winston. there ever was! Yeah. Hanging out with you is the best. Ah, oh, thank you! Okay, there's one more piece on mine that you're helping me with, and yeah. that will be done! There it is! I got Whoa. you on yours! Okay, here we go! And done! Oh, we did it! We did it! That is awesome! And this is an awesome Lego set! I know! Look at all the extra cool things it came with! Like, see, look, there's a helicopter right there! Ah, there it is! Oh, oh, oh! And Jerry, can you show them how the space shuttle doors open? 
I would love to, just like that. Whoa! Oh, so awesome! I know, I think this claw thingy is one of my favorites. It's super fun to play with, it actually opens, and these directions sure were helpful. I think God's directions probably helped Noah a lot too when he was building his boat. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm reading the directions to build a Lego set, I don't understand them. Do you think that happened to Noah? Maybe, I know it happens to me. You're building a big boat too? No, but God gives us other kinds of directions in the Bible, like how to love him. And when I don't understand those directions, I can pray to God and ask him to help me believe and know what to do. Oh, I will ask a grown up when I don't know what to do. That's great. And we can always believe in God because the Bible tells us that God and his plans are always good. Now, Winston, <laughs> we've built the Lego set, so it's time to give us your final review. Thanks, Jerry. Ahem. This is Winston's final review of the Mars Research Shuttle Lego set. There are so many fun pieces in this 273 piece Lego set. It was kind of hard for me to put together, so I needed Jerry's help. But I like that I can pretend that I'm going to Mars and exploring with this awesome set. I know. Now, how does it rate on the famous Winston sticker scale? Hmm, well, according to my calculations, okay. I have to give it Go, there's one, one two, two, three, four. We did awesome! it! Whoa, that's a really high rating. Woohoo! Friends, thank you for joining me and my friend Jerry for my Lego review show! And yeah, I have a fun one for next week, so make sure to check back here and remember that you can believe in God. Bye, friends! Bye, everyone! Okay, so are we gonna build some more? Wow, that space shuttle was amazing. It reminded me of the ship that Noah built. He built it because he believed in God. Even though Noah didn't fully understand why God gave him directions, he followed them because he believed God's plans were the best. Now let's say a prayer to God right now. Let's put five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. Dear God, thank you for loving us. Thank you for your good plans. Help us believe in you and follow your direction. We love you, God. Amen. Thanks so much for joining us for Church at Home. We're done with our time here today, but we have fun crafts and activity pages for you. Just have your grown up at home help you go to saddlebackkids.com to check it out. And remember our big idea for today. I believe in God. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.